Hey everyone, uh, this video is going to cover the cleaning up of the engine. I'm going to go out and pressure wash it real quick and then uh, after that it will be installing the oil baffle plate as well as the hard oil lines for the oil cooler. So as it sits right now, you can see it's a little scuzzy, you know, down low, lots of dirt and debris on it. So I just want to clean this all off before I start tearing it apart, flipping it over. I'm also going to pop open the coolant drains for the block and you know just make sure there's no residual sitting in there before I start flipping this thing upside down. So uh, this is where we're at right now. I'll be back as soon as this thing's been cleaned off. All right, just finished cleaning it. Uh, like I said, first thing I did was drain the block using the two block drains, one here on this side and coming around to the other side. The other one is tucked right here behind the oil cooler. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead, drained uh, the remaining antifreeze that I could get out of the block, and then took it outside, sprayed it down with some Super Clean, and hit it with a pressure washer. Not perfect, but definitely got a lot of the grime off that was on here. So uh, next steps are going to be to flip this thing over, pull the oil pan off, uh, go ahead and install the Wilhelm uh, baffle plate, and then also swap over the uh, hoses for the metal tubes uh, for the oil cooler. So that'll be coming up next. Hey everybody. Uh, so for this clip, I am gonna start the process of installing the oil pan baffle that I got from Wilhelm. I'll show you what it looks like over here. Uh, it's a pretty nice piece. Uh, everything's cut out nice and then it just lays directly in the oil pan and then you just use some RTV around the edges to hold it in place has some nice flat valves and whatnot. Um, I'm going to be using Permatex right stuff uh, for imports. This stuff seems to work great. I've never had a problem with it in the past. Um, so always been a big fan. So uh, next step is going to be to pull off the oil pan. I was originally planning on flipping the engine over, but then I thought about it. I was like, well, with this top heavy as it is with the heads and everything on, probably not going to be fun to try and spin it on the engine stand. So I'm just going to leave it as is and just drop the pan down directly. So Gonna drain the oil, any any residual that's in there, and then get the pan off, and then uh, go from there. Um, also, in between these clips, I did uh, make a stop into the body shop because uh, I had to get pictures of my wiring harness in the car for Paul Woods for doing my patch harness. Uh, while I was there, I got a few pictures, so I'll go ahead and get those uh, into this video in between these clips, uh, so you'll be able to see where it's at. Uh, according to the shop, you know, and from what I saw, the body work is pretty much all done. Right now they're just finishing up, cleaning up any of like the trim pieces and whatnot. Uh, and it should be heading into the booth in the next week or two. So uh, they've been a little bit behind because with COVID and other volume, they've had issues with employees not showing up and whatnot. And you know, I've, I've seen that because I do work in the, uh, on the insurance side of the auto body and auto repair industry. And it seems to be a nationwide problem with you know trying to find people to do work. So. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the oil drain, get the pan off. Uh, here's a few photos, and then next clip you'll see we'll have the pan off and we'll be installing the baffle. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I got the pan off. I went ahead and cleaned up the flange. So we are all set here on this side. And I did the same over here with the oil pan. Uh, took a wire brush, wire wheel, and got all the old sealer off the edge. Um, also test fitted the new baffle to the pan. Um, had to do a little bit of massaging of the old baffles. And there's also a couple spots where the pan is dented up. You can see you know, where the paint's chipped off here. I had to take a hammer and dowel and just kind of pound it down a little bit uh, to make the baffle plate fit. Also had to do some minor bending to the, the baffle, just uh, one of the one of the baffle pieces right there just to get it to tuck in properly. I don't know, there's probably some slight variances in these pans and whatnot uh, from the manufacturing, or like I said, you know, just from being jacked by it or something at some point in time, uh, just through the... Uh, the dimensions off ever so slightly so um, next step is to put the baffle in there put some silicone around everything and uh, bolt it up torque it down so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done next 
All right, everybody, just wanted to do the final update on this weekend's progress. Uh, as you can see, the oil pan is back on, uh, sealed it up using the right stuff, gray import sealant. Uh, also, you can see I have the metal hard lines on now. Um, figured this is pretty simple, straightforward. It's, you know, literally two nuts and a bolt on each flange. Doesn't take much time at all to swap this out. So really didn't need to see that. Uh, so yeah, this is the Toyota service part to remove the rubber intermediate lines uh, in the pipe so you don't have to worry about any leaks there. And then I used Toyota seals uh, on both ends, so it's all OEM stuff there. So that's now resealed and uh, replaced and torqued into place. Uh, also, while I was you know doing oil-related stuff, I swapped out the oil filter. Um, I pulled out the original, whatever was in there, put in a Wix uh, XP filter kit, um, so that is now done. So pretty much everything oil system related is complete on the engine for now. Uh, I think next thing I'll be doing is probably swapping on the compressor. Um, and there's really not much else I have to do to this thing that I can think of before I get the car back. So I think this thing's going to be mostly prepped and then it's just pretty much waiting for the body shop to get me my car back and go from there. So, uh, just wanted to give you the update. Uh, again, uh, hoping the car will be back in like a month, six weeks, something like that. Uh, you know, they're, they're trying to get it in the paint booth in the next couple of weeks, and then it's going to have to be wet sanded and all that fun stuff. So um, once it's back, then we'll be able to get this engine in there and uh, go from there. So again, uh, please like and subscribe if you want to follow along. Uh, see, you know, as far as this project goes, putting this wonderful 3.5 liter V6 into my 93 MR2 shells. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.